Howdy y'all, welcome back to Enigmatis, where we had to solve a very long puzzle last time. We! <laughs> I, I helped a little bit. And he also... did nothing. And also, we're too stupid to figure out where Burnett Grove is. That's in reference to the lady. It's also in reference to Chaotic. That's a location Chaotic. Uh, today... The wind-up is broken. Chill out, little girl. You got your food right in front of you. Okay. My little Backing kitty. Up, she, whoops. She's I so saw sweet. That sparkle. She, she she wants she's I think she wants me, but she she's I'm telling her I'm doing something right now, little girl. Be over there in a few minutes. You're talking about the meow meow cat. I was I was getting really weird for a minute right there. Well, I mean, what other little girls in this area? I was, I was thought you were doing some weird quote or something, and I was like, this is getting weird. Stop it! No, I love I love my little meow meow cat. Meow 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 feed me meow meow. I did feed her. Feed her again. She's just being needy. Dang it, needy cats. By the way, and then when you're needy and need something, they're like, feed me. By the way, I gotta tell you that. There's a, there's a thing that you said in K.O. the Kangaroo that I cannot get out of my head. And you're bringing it up now. Reason, because it's so cute. Well, where else am I going to bring it up? In your thoughts. The, the, it's, uh, it's something you called one of the enemies in one of the first areas. You called it the Nomming Fish. Oh, and I remember the so Nomming cute. Fish. Yeah, I love that. I love when you say Nomming Fish. Why? I wish we could find it. I wish we could find another fish that noms so that we can call it the nomming fish. <laughs> That's we probably not going to happen for a long time. Actually, we could probably make that a character like Agent Stone. I don't know. That's a stretch. Speaking of speaking of funny character things, um, the funniest thing happened on Game Grumps that I saw. Um... I don't. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what the full context was, but but uh, Dan had, had said Aaron turned into a turnip, so he's like, uh, Barry, put put a picture of smiling Aaron turnip on the screen, and that then this little creepy. graphic, and this little graphic of a t turnip with Aaron's face and hair came up, and uh, Aaron says, Hi everybody, I'm smiling Aaron turnip. Stay in school. Don't do drugs. Eat your teeth. <laughs> no, I don't you're know. the only one laughing. I know, and I don't care. It's just, I think that I found that oh, so sweet. funny. I think I just about died laughing. How was I supposed to find that? <laughs> All that for Windex. There was a soda that, that by that Lester Fixins guy that someone once described as tasting like Windex. <laughs> uh, people were trying to figure out the actual flavor of it, and he was why like, can I open this drawer? Well, uh, you could before. There was something in there in the last time. Too lazy to deprogram the drawer game. Anyway, so uh, they were trying to figure out what what it actually tasted like. And uh, they were getting worse and worse with their guesses, and he was like, Shut up! Shut up! It tastes like Windex! I'm okay with that! Hmm. <laughs> like, he was okay with it tasting like Windex. <laughs> like, how would you be okay with that? You shouldn't be. <laughs> Maybe it tasted so bad he just wanted something that would kill him. That's possible. <laughs> oh, one po point of point of order: Do not ever try their uh, chocolate bacon flavored soda. Someone actually almost threw up. Well, for just starters, for the alone. I would never drink soda. I do. Well, then. Well, what do you get? What do you, what do you get when you when you go to a restaurant then? Water. I figured you'd get tea. No, I don't like tea. Tea makes me feel like I'm sick. I love tea. I've only ever had tea when I've been like sick with strep throat, so um, by association, I hate it. Mom hates apple juice for the same reason. Mm -hmm. Same thing goes for saltine crackers. Have you ever Where tried a uh, cracker? 
Have you ever tried drinking ginger ale when you were sick? No. That you kind should. of knuckle game. That's dumb. You should. It uh, it's supposed to be a st stomach sedative. Okay. I was hoping we had to do one there, cause then you could like get one more chance at uh, you know finding what you wanted to find. Yeah. Ding. Church. Ding. 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 The trails are beautiful, but first I'd have to know where to go. You faded away, lady. Oh, I'm, I'm supposed to be here. Sweet. The camera moves faster than her. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing but static. Queen finally got Radio what she wanted. She's in my lap now, purring. Cool. Oh, wait. No. What do you even want? Yes, let's put, let's put a penny into acid. <laughs> Yes, let's collect the acid! <laughs> I was kidding about it being acid. It is acid. That's from a battery. <laughs> battery acid. Very, very terrible stuff. Can also make it where you can't uh, smell anymore. Not interested in that. Cleaning. That's a power of Ponsol, baby! One dollar! Can I use one penny? Uh, it might be a Sacagawea coin. It's a dollar coin. Yeah, so a Sacagawea coin. Sacagawea is on the one dollar coin. Find the rock. Find rock that looks like a face rock. The rock that looks like a face. Where is rock hiding? You do know that reference, right? No. Gravity Falls, episode one. You know how long it's been since I've seen the first episode of Gravity Falls? No. A long time. I've seen it more recently than you, then. When do you see it? I tend to rewatch stuff I like. That must be The Rock. That looks like a flower, bitch! <laughs> that don't look like no dang rock! Now what's the closest reference point that you're gonna claim as a reference point? That rock? That rock? No. Looks like the mound from earlier. Oh, who's your pretty kitty? Yes, you are, queen. The who's tree! Ah, yes, the tree that we were just at! I know I Errol, you're north, useless! But I need something to point me in the right direction. I know I should go north, but I need something to point The rock is north of here. I know I should go north. Ugh. I, I forget if you can guess it in that or you actually have to find the compass. In some games, you can just guess it and they'll be like, haha, you win. Yep, like kindergarten too. Ding dong. The witch is dead? Maybe. She not that. Let's go burn people with acid. This is the dagger that man stole from my room. And he just left it here. No, they, well, he, he left it here because he's probably down in the in the trap door. Well, this works. The crime scene. No new deductions for now. I'll take the candle. And it's right at the beginning of the church area. Oh, by the way, the new season of Futurama hasn't skipped a beat. Oh, well, that's good. It's really good. The only the only thing that's different that I don't particularly care for is that um, is uh, Fry's voice actor sounds tired, but that can be, be that'd be fine because his voice actor is aging. Yeah. Evil Bell. At least the at least the aging voice fits for the professor. Professor. Yeah, it was yeah, like Farnsworth. old now. Profe the profe professor Farnsworth is 160 years old. Mm -hmm. I'm here, game. What do you want me to do? Ah. Ah. Ah, Farns. Burns 
spell, maybe. Time for vandalism. Why do we get the feeling that old man is important? Awesome. Now the bell's been destroyed and everyone's like, We're at church! <laughs> run away! Well, I mean, I'd run away too if I was at the Church of Satan. Yep. Find or the if, thing. Or worse, or worse, the Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> Good morning. Are you interested in learning about the Lord? Because if you're not, you got a pamphlet here I'm going to give you anyway. Ha! And I got something to give I've got something to give to you too. Avada Kedavra! <laughs> Foolish man. Magic doesn't work against the Jehovah Witnesses. Dead! They're run, they're, they're run by Lord Voldemort. The music has run away in fear of the stuff you've been saying. Maybe, maybe, maybe Lord Voldemort created the uh, Jehovah's Witnesses to screw with the muggles. I knew he'd be important! What the? How'd I get here? And where's the preacher? I, I've been coming here every day for years, and he's always here. Well, I was home, talking to my late wife's memory, when the storm broke. That, that's the last thing I can recall. Oh, I feel so weak, legs wobbling like a newborn calf's, like, like something just drained the life from me. But about that girl you're looking for... I, do you I know? saw her a few times with the boy from the farm west of my house. Watched them two right from my balcony. Thanks for doing all the talking, sir. Mm hmm. What do you mean there's nowhere to go, game? <laughs> uh, maybe check the trap door? Man, this sure feels like waking up from a bad dream. Oh, looks I'm like an idiot. we need I have more a compass. We need candles. Where too. did I get a compass from? Probably the old, old gentleman. The meeting place should be just north of here. Just north. There's five thousand clicks later. There's some sort of formation up ahead. Could it be the one from the photo? We're at rock that looks like a rock. The rock that looks like a face. Take that. It's the Flatwoods Monster! The trails are beautiful. <laughs> but first I'd have to know where to go. You ah, Cabin like... in the Woods! This could only go good for us. Detective, so nice of you to finally drop by. Can I interest you in something to eat? Polish sausage, perhaps? It tastes... Polish. It's made of people, you? isn't it? Why did you leave me that message? I want to help you. But there's one condition. No questions. I see you've handled the bell nicely on your own. Now, my unsolicited advice is to stay focused on the church. Search it like you haven't got a prayer. Because, let's face it, you don't. Hurry, you can still save Kate. And by the way, you might find this handy. Thanks for the candle! Yeah. That was the last one we needed. Yep. Really? I swear that I sausage was made out of some Polish girl. Interesting. We're gone! You're talking to no one, sir! Wait, do I have a long... I do have a long thing. Fine, that won't work. Stick the sausage on it. That's not gonna work either. I can tell you that right now. There's actually... There's totally a, that was weird! A picture I somewhere in here that has the answer. I sneezed. That was the weird thing. That was not the weird thing. Then what was the weird thing? The way that animation was working. Do I not have the answer? Maybe I can guess and pray. Go away. I'll need your notes. I say smallest to largest. Oh. That is in not this. That's in evidence. Let's see. Which picture are you whining? This one. Okay, so it's, uh... Why'd you back out so far? Aha! I remembered it magically. Cool. First try. 
Welcome to the dungeon. It's very nice down here. It's, mu it's much nicer than Dr. Gygax's. <laughs> well, for starters, Dr. Gygax isn't here. That's a start. I'm pretty sure he's dead by this point. Yeah. He or she, depending on what you believe. Or like what game you play. Either way, they're dead now. Because that was back in the 1800s, and this is what, 2012? 11. We're close. 11. So yeah, they're, they'd be long dead by now. Mm. Maybe skeletonized by now. <laughs> in, the, in the basement below the chapel. Possibly. Alright. Where's the swan? Swan! Olivia Swanson. Elizabeth Swan. Mm -hmm. Pirates of the Caribbean movies are weird. And don't try and make sense of them, because you'll die trying. Yar. Shell in the pen. There's a pencil. Doesn't count. Maybe it's a dip. Oh, it's the dip pen. It's the big feather. No, it's not. Well, that makes no sense. <laughs> it would say feather pen. Oh. Now, find shell. Oh, I'm sorry. She's in aperture science. Oh, well, then it was a cheat. I clicked on that game. Why didn't you accept it? Maybe you were just off by a millimeter. Papers are worthless. We're at a technologically advanced day. Um, <clears throat> 2011. A map. More evidence, Gordon. More deductions too. And a safe puzzle. Yeah, like it would instantly be open. Okay, deduction. Lake one, two. Ah. You're gonna go to his lair. Did you just spit? No, I was drinking. Oh, thank you for writing those down. Left, right, left, left, right. <laughs> awesome. Let's do that then. Screw the dungeon. Bye, man. I just gonna stand there confused. Stop going there. I just accidentally reminded myself. Uh, have you seen the the uh, Beatles cartoon, left, the old right. one? Twice left, right again, and I should be there. No, I haven't. It's actually kind of good. Here we are. Whoop! Wait. Where's that fake out? Ah, oh, sometimes this game fakes you out with the sparkles. That's stupid. Locks from a fun angle. Use the sausage. No. <laughs> I'm just glad that you actually did it. <laughs> yeah. I'll let you have something. <laughs> just, uh, I just imagine, I just imagine Carol banging a sausage against a lock, being like, "Why won't you open?" Ah, uh, she's a little smarter than that. That's more of a Christine move. <laughs> it's still funny, though. Where is that location? The Scary Dungeon. The Crypt of the Necro Dancer. Didn't think that worked, but I'd try. It's not even shaped right. That's where it goes. And yeah. now you need the heart. The heart she holler right in the middle. Then there's nothing for this one. Yet. Yet. I like how in these older games, that wasn't going to the leave, was it? Oh, there was something sparkly outside. Oh, it was going to leave. Okay. Where? It was on that, st it was on that stump next to the door. I don't see it. Well, it was there. I guess it was a graphical glitch. I do like whenever you hit the game, just like, go that way. Now go this way. Now go that way. Now go this way. 
Yeah, I wasn't gonna find that branch. I was hiding behind the notebook game. You found wood. Wood. A deep My hollow. Chop wood. And that's your Budge Hartman ve uh, reference for the day, kids. Oh, that's the way for cheating to get Back when, back when Fairly Odd Parents was good. Which a lot of the kids these days probably don't know that experience. Tappy tappy. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. Hooray! That's how lock picking works. Not in real life. You have to hold them there in real life. Yep. Game, that one's on you. I clicked when you did decide to put a pop up instead. Yeah, that one was my fault. Oh, these, this aiming's weird. You have to get it right as the bubble's on it. Okay. Now. There we go. Inside. Find the preacher man. Actually, first. Well, no, we'll go a little long. We'll solve this first. Oh look, there's a piece of cheese. Cheese? Yeah, in the in the inner tube. Yep. Too bad we can't get it. Throw the cheese. Throw the cheese. Go for your bees. Yeah! Alright. Let's see. Now I just need. Never mind. Whiskey. It was the most obvious one! It's the last one! <laughs> what is the code? 767443. Alright, you'll have to read that again, just in case it's <laughs> somehow right. There's, there's not enough numbers for it. Are you sure? Yeah, I said seven six seven four four three. Oh, I heard seven six four four three. And it's wrong. Four is correct. How do you know four? The middle is four was. The middle four was correct because it sparkled. That was saying you have found a thing here. Light the candle with the matches. Ah, there they are. And then we'll watch this flame burn as you tell the folks what they should do. Now you put the bowl on top. I said we're going to watch this burn while you tell the folks what we need to do. Oh, well, thank y'all for watching this episode of Enigmatis. If you liked it, leave us a like. If you're new around here, subscribe. Go check out Anthony's channel. We'll see you next time. Oh, yeah, right. I'm JFK from Clone High, and I am telling you to subscribe to the Geeky Skunk Gamer and his friends. Geo Joe 2000 and uh, uh, Luigi Fan 891!